Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Sue, and today I'm going to be showcasing my project. Uh, it's called Time Sync, and it's inspired by Calendly. So it's like a appointment booking app. So yeah, uh, I would also like to introduce uh, my partner, MJ, who helped me with the project page. So yeah. So to get started, what is Time Sync? So in today's world where Everyone is rushing to get somewhere or is busy with work and all that stuff. Time is very valuable. So to set up like a separate time just to set a date and time for your meeting with a client can take a lot of time. So what TimeSync aims to do is to simplify all of that. So you'll be able to set your own availability, basically your schedule, and then your clients can book an appointment based on your uh, schedule so they can pick a time slot and just book there without even having to contact you. So this would, in a way, eliminate the need for long email chains or phone calls. And basically, yeah, the goal is to like simplify the way we book appointments by just giving out like a free and very simple and straightforward solution. And the technologies I use is pretty basic for a React app, except for maybe Zapier. So Zapier is what I use to uh, add to Google Calendar. And one of the challenges I faced was connecting my Firebase collection to Zapier. So it didn't say in the collection that you're supposed, I mean, in the documentation that you're supposed to have at least one dummy data inside your collection so that Zapier can detect your collection. So I was stuck there for uh, quite a bit because I didn't know that and the documentation didn't say that we need to do that. But then I found someone on Stack Overflow who had the same problem and they said to just add a dummy data so that it can detect the collection and that's how I fixed it. And another thing is that you have to write like a, a query in Zapier to send to Firestore, I mean to your Firebase collection and to check for the, the thing that you just added. And that has to be written in JSON format. So I'm still a bit new to that. So that took me a bit of time too, but I eventually got it to work. And yeah, so for feature highlight, I have the Google Calendar integration. So how I did this was I connect the hmm. Firestore collection to Zapier. So when a new document is added, Zapier will detect it and then it will create a new detailed event. So it checks, I think for the free account, it checks every 15 minutes. So yeah, it takes a bit of time, but I think as a free solution, it works pretty great because I also have like note mailer. So after you add an appointment, you get it right away. and you get that one email straight away anyway. So it's just that it takes a few minutes for the Google Calendar to be updated. And yeah, that's uh, one of the features that I think is pretty cool that I have. So yeah, for the demo, uh, I have a pre-recorded video. So I'm just going to walk you guys through it. All right. So this is the sign up page. I mean, login page. So as you can see, just, sign, uh, just logging in here and going to create a link. So this is, you can set like the name of the event that you're going to send out to your clients or whatever. And for the location, you can actually just use your Zoom link or Google Meet link. But in this case, I forgot to do that. So I just put in Google Meet. And you can also set the days that you're available and the timing as well. So you can put like Monday to Tuesday or and so forth like that. And you enter your email and phone number, and then you can create the event. And now you can share this link to, to anyone and they can access it without uh, logging in. So as you can see here, open a private window and I can still open the link. And now people can see your availability, like the dates and the hours you're available and the appointment details. So all of this will be sent to Google Calendar and the client can pick a date. So as you can see, I'm available for only five days. So they can pick any one of these dates and then they can choose a time depending on the hours that are available here. And after they do this, you can see the, okay, hold on just a minute. <laughs> yeah, so they can enter their email there and you'll see that the notification gets sent right away from mm -hmm. no holder. So this is the first one, you get it like, just like that in a click. And that's that was the email just now. Yeah, uh, so to continue, I'm just gonna show you guys the profile page. So you can update your username and profile picture here. Uh, thanks to MJ for helping me build the page. And yeah, it looks uh, pretty clean. And mobile responsiveness for the profile page nice. and the dashboard. And that's for the details, the, the one we saw just now. 
And you can also edit the uh, details for the meeting. So as you can see, I changed the name and title and you can see the changes appear there. And you can also delete. So logging out, this is how the home page looks in a big screen, small screen, sign up page, password reset page. And that's basically what my app does. And you can see that the Google Calendar has been updated here. You can see the guests, you can see my account and then the client's account here. Yeah, so that's basically what the app does. And to continue, so learning experience, I was struggling with Redux when we first started, but uh, working on this has made me understand it quite a, uh, a lot more and it's easier to do now. And for user feedback, uh, I got some to disable the dates. So when you're setting an appointment, you can only pick the date from the current date and onwards and not backwards because you know we can't time travel. <laughs> and yeah. the third thing is to like, just take it slow and do it properly. I can't say that I'm, very pa I'm a very patient person, so I tend to rush, but working on this has made me realize that, okay, I need to chill and just take it slow and do it properly instead of doing a sloppy job. So yeah, that's my learning experience. And to conclusion, oh, sorry. I forgot to add it. Anyway, conclusion is that, so the, the app, what it does is basically it simplifies the way we book appointments. And I think this would be really useful for smaller businesses because this app is very easy to maintain and the UI is very clean. So the goal was to always like make UI as clean as possible. Whatever you see in the UI is what you need. There's no unnecessary things. So that was like the main thing I was stressing about. And just make the UI like snappy, you know, like nothing loads slow. Everything is there as soon as you click on it. And yeah, I think this would be pretty useful for smaller businesses out there or even big ones. Like it can, this can still be expanded upon. So yeah, I think covered basically it. And yeah, I would like to thank everyone who helped Jay and Harris for being a good instructor. <laughs> and ChatGPT for helping me when I was stuck and some other sources in, from Google. So yeah, if you guys want to try the app, you can check out this link. And yeah, thank you. That is all for my presentation.